Hey folks, this is my third attempt at trying to do this. Um, I'm trying to show you how to make banana cream pie. Right now I've got three quarter or three cups of uh, whole milk scalding on the pot. This is about done. After uh, here in a minute, I'm going to dump it into my mixture of three quarters of a cup of sugar, two thirds of a cup of flour, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So hang on just a second. All right, so what we got going on now, over medium heat, I am stirring the scalded milk. I'm stirring the scalded milk into our happy flour, sugar, and salt mixture. And we're going to stir it constantly until such time as it thickens up. Once it's thickened up, we're going to cover it for one minute. You can see I've got the cover here. And then we get into the fun of the egg yolks. We'll be back for that here in a little bit when this actually thickens up. And as you can see, I'm still stirring this and you can see it's a little loose still. It takes a while for it to thicken up. Um, an unfortunate side effect of this eventually it will thicken up and we'll get into that here in a bit but I kind of want to give you an idea of what's actually going on as we mix all this stuff together now normally I use a spoon for this I'm using a whisk because I found out that it actually makes it a little bit lighter when it sets I, that could just be psychological or that could just be an actual thing I'm not really sure because I unlike a lot of people I'm not a professional chef and I'm doing this just for my own pleasure because I want to make a cream pie because I made some for people yesterday and didn't get any. All right, so here we are. I'm not sure how well to show up. You can see it's thickened up a little bit here. It's getting a little bit stiffer and a lot tastier looking. So what we're going to do now is set the whisk aside for a minute. And we're going to take this pan lid and we're going to stick it right on top of the thing. It's going to sit here for one minute and cook a little bit longer with the lid on. And then I'll come back and show you the fun with the egg yolks. Alright, so we took a minute while this thing sat covered. So now what we're going to do, we're going to scoop some of the mixture out. We're going to put it in our three egg yolks. Yeah, I had to separate three eggs before this video started. And what we're going to do is mix this together. What we're actually doing is cooking the egg yolk so that we drop it back into the mixture. It doesn't seize, AKA we don't want scrambled eggs in the middle of our pie. And then what we're going to do is like I said, we're going to dump it right back into the mixture and get back to stirring it for another minute. You can see it's in there now. We got our whisk. We got our stirring. So I will return as soon as I get through with the minutes, because then we're going to add the butter and the vanilla. Okay, so hopefully you can see I added in butter and vanilla to this mixture. We're just going to blend it in. It has been removed from heat. We're going to stir it all together. And then we're going to let this cool down for eh, roughly 10 minutes. And then come back and put it into a pie shell on top of banana slices. And if I get really creative, I'll show you me putting whipped cream on top of it. Alright, so the pie filling is still cooling down, but I will show you real quick. I lined the interior of the pie crust with one sliced up banana. 
eventually when this cools down a little bit further, I'm going to pour about half of the mixture on top of that, and then slice up another banana and pour the rest on top of that. If you didn't notice, these are store-bought pie shells. Uh, they cracked in the oven. I don't really care because I'm making this for myself. If you're making this for actual people who are going to be eating it, you might want to be more careful with the cracked pie crust than I was. Like I said, I personally don't care right now. So We'll be back to show you what happens when we put the first layer on. All right, so as you can hopefully see, I put in the first layer of filling and the first layer of banana. As you can see, I've still got the pork put on top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the fridge to cool down and then cover it with a little cream. And then I'm going to pig out. But since we're on the subject, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to keep doing this. If you want to make a coconut cream pie, it's essentially the same recipe. The difference is you're going to add a cup of coconut flakes to the milk when you're scalding it. And I personally subtract and make two, add two cups of milk to the scalding and add in a can of just regular coconut milk to it. I find that brings out the coconut flavor and it makes it taste like coconut cream because, which I really don't, it's not my personal favorite. My husband loves it to death. I personally think it tastes like sweetened fingernails, but that's a personal opinion. All right, boys and girls, we have let it cool down a little bit. So this is what your finished pie is gonna look like. I'm gonna stick it back in the fridge and cut off a slice later on and eat it when I, before bed, cause I like pie. I know that these videos traditionally end with somebody eating the pie. I am not that person because, frankly, I like the spoon. I already know it tastes good. And like I said, I made it for me. So, y'all can make one for yourselves. Love you.